Hey guys, I'm Meg, and welcome to another installment of Flirt with Dessert. Today I'm going to be making over one of my favorite Thanksgiving desserts, pecan pie. Now, pecan pie is one of those classic desserts that everyone loves. So what I did is take everything that I love about pecan pie and turn it into a pecan pie Napoleon, giving you something new, original, and fresh. Now, the first step in making this Napoleon is to make my melt-in-your-mouth butter cookies. These cookies, awesome! If you make nothing else, make these cookies. They are super simple and they're one of my all-time favorite cookies. I promise they'll become a staple in your kitchen. Once these are baked and cooled, set them aside and it's time to make the filling for the Napoleon. Now, I made my pecan pie filling the way I always have when making a pecan pie. The only thing I did different was bake it in a 9 by 13 inch pan. I lined the pan with parchment paper and I also sprayed the parchment with non-stick because this filling gets really sticky. Now, I left a little bit in here just so you can see what it looks like, but you're going to use the whole pan of it. Another tip, this can actually be made up to a week ahead of time and just pop it in the fridge. This way, you're that much more ahead of the game. Now, once you made the filling and it's all completely chilled, you're going to scrape it all into a good sized bowl. The only other thing I'm going to add to this is 16 ounces of mascarpone cheese. Now, I left the mascarpone cheese out for a little while just to take the chill off. You want to do that so it's easy to incorporate with the rest of the filling. The mascarpone is what's going to give us that really rich and creamy texture that I'm going for. And once this is combined, you're done. It's time to plate the dessert already. So, for plating, the first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of my filling on the plate. Now, I always do this when I'm making a Napoleon because this is going to act as glue. Without it, the Napoleon can just slide all over the plate. This is going to be like our anchor. So start by stacking your cookie. Now I'm going to put some filling. I want to put a good amount of this on here. Alright, next cookie. When I stack the cookies, I like to offset the squares just to give the dessert more dimension. All right, last cookie. Now I'm gonna put a little bit more of this filling on top. Now, this is a perfect, beautiful dessert just like this, but every dessert needs a garnish or as I like to say, an accessory. So today I whipped up a dark chocolate, salted almond and toasted coconut bark. If you've never made bark before, it's super simple. You just melt a really good quality dark chocolate, spread it on parchment paper, and I sprinkled it with chopped salted almonds and toasted coconut. Once it chilled in the fridge, you can either break it up with your hands or chop it up with a knife. This also makes a really great gift for the foodies in your life. Okay, I'm gonna take a good wedge of this, and because I'm made, I have a little something here called luster dust in gold, and I'm just going to brush some of this on the bark, right where the chocolate is still showing, just to give it a little bit of something. I mean, it is the holidays. Everything needs a little bit of sparkle. Alright, and it just adds that extra touch that really just makes it pretty. Now that that's done. I'm going to place this on top of my Napoleon and it just really puts the whole dish over the top and just to quickly finish it off, I reserved some of my toasted coconut and I'm going to sprinkle this on the plate. The coconut really adds a nice brightness to this dish and all the flavors going on here really work well together. They all complement each other which is really important in any dessert. All 
And that's it. My pecan pie Napoleon is done. I hope you make it. I hope you enjoy it. And remember, it's dessert. Have fun with it.